12 days of Beards Miss 2022. Today is day 12. Yes, the very last day. This is not going to be back until next year. I will see what I can do of inserting some more history throughout the year. Hasn't worked out quite yet, but I am full-time as a content creator now, so I'll see what I can do. I can work a little magic if you guys want that, if you guys enjoy this. And we do have a giveaway today that we have to announce tomorrow. I'm going to do that on the community tab, the community post. What is that? If you look up above this video, there's like a little bar that says like videos, playlists, shorts, lives. There's also one that says community. Click on that, whether you're on your computer or on your phone. You'll see I post pictures and links and stuff. Try not to use it too much. I don't want to overwhelm you guys or be in your face too much. I'm very conscious of that, but it is a really good, useful tool. But first, we got our normal video. We're going to have yesterday's giveaway winner announced. We're going to have a new giveaway. We're going to talk about Dr. Nick's Amazing Man stuff and the owners behind the scenes. But of course, we got to have the history lesson. And today we are covering... Oh, please, while that anticipation builds, hit that thumbs up for me. We are covering... Boom! Kip Malone. Now this one's a little bit different. I have a feeling most of you have never heard of him or don't know who he is. And there's a couple of differences too. Number one, he is still alive. I believe if I'm remembering correctly for this year's series, this is the first one where I'm covering a living person. And I like to do that every year. I want to mix it up. I want to have really ancient ones, more recent ones, and then even people that are alive. And this one, I could just not get out of my head. It was suggested and I looked into him. I watched interviews. I read everything about him and there wasn't the most information, right? He is a young younger guy. He is still alive. He is not some massive mega superstar. So the information is not just readily available, right? I did Sigmund Freud yesterday. We, you could make an entire college. There probably are based on his teachings alone. So this one's a little bit different, but it just resonated with me. It just stuck with me. And I had to bring this to you guys. First and foremost, look at that beard. Goodness. Is that the best beard we have ever covered on this series? It is big. It is dense. It's got multi-colors in there. It is beautiful. So when we're talking about facial hair figures from the past, we got to include that great beard. So Kip Malone is an artist. He is someone that is super talented, very unique, very interesting, very intelligent. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. He was born in Pennsylvania, but he also grew up in New Jersey and he currently lives in Brooklyn. He still takes the public transit uh, within New York, within Brooklyn. He's got some stories that he's talked about of what he's seen on there. And when he was asked something like, hey, are you famous? He said, no, I don't consider myself famous at all, but it is a little bit unsettling to think about getting famous. What if I'm having a bad day? What if I'm stressed and people recognize me and notice me? He's very introspective. Now, one of the main reasons, and, and okay, and let's establish what he is first. As a musician, he's deeply talented. He sings, he plays multiple instruments, he writes music, he's a part of multiple bands throughout his journey. Uh, currently, I think probably the most well-known one would be TV on the radio, but he's also been in TV shows, he's also been in movies, he also helps produce these things. He's very, very, very talented, and he looks at stuff from a different angle, which I love. His interviews are fascinating. Now, probably the biggest thing that stuck out to me, other than his amazing beard, is what he does for mental health. He is a huge advocate for men's mental health. He talks about a time period where he wanted to commit suicide. He wanted to take his own life and how he is now trying to help other people that are in that position. If you watch my live streams, if you know me, if you know this channel, that's a massive, massive thing for me. I want guys to do better on their physical health, right? Go get checked up. Go to those yearly physicals. Get your blood work done. But I also want guys to be able to talk. I want you to get help. I want you to reach out. We got to break the stigma of it's it's manly to just rub some dirt on it and not talk about it. Drink your problems away. No, absolutely not. Talk to somebody. Get some help. And I know Kip would agree with me on that. And he uses his, his platform to be able to help out on these issues. He uses his music to speak about things like racism. Speak about things like mental health. He also goes into politics, right? I'm not saying to agree or disagree with his political views, but he's speaking up. And I do encourage you guys to try and look into his music. Try and look into his interviews. Because he's such a unique person, man. So unique on how he delivers his thoughts on how he delivers his information. Uh, they like said in the future, what do you think will be like the big topic of 2025? And he's like that. We don't have to worry about rats in New York. And I'm like, 
how does your brain go there? Like, how does that happen? And then another story. He was asked about his signature Afro hairstyle. And they said, oh, what do you think about your Afro hairstyle? He said, I don't have that. He goes, I have hair of a black man that I grew out. He said, that's what happened when you grow your hair out. He said, I encourage anybody to grow their hair out naturally and see what it does. And he's done the same with his beard. And again, just a super unique category of like delivering information. One thing, and I've never spoken to him, of course, but one thing I would love to ask him is, what do you do for your beard? I have a feeling that he might not do too much. I, I don't feel like he, he is like somebody that has this deeply developed routine, just judging by his kind of demeanor and approach, but maybe he surprises me. Maybe he has a full out beard routine. If somehow, some way he watches this at any time, drop a comment, Kip. Let's hear about what you do for your beard. So if you guys want to check into some, some unique music, if you want to check into a really, really richly uh, skilled and unique and just talented musician that rocks a great beard, Kip Malone is an awesome one to look up. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's cover our last company today, and that's going to be Dr. Nick's Amazing Man Stuff. The owners are Jill and Nick. Phenomenal humans. Nick has been a part of several different companies. He owns a woodworking company that's in the same facility. He owns a consulting company that's in the same facility, and he owns a cybersecurity company that's in the same facility. This man is pulled in many directions, but he has great people on his side, like his beautiful wife, Jill, that's able to help him out. They do everything in home, from labeling the bottles, to designing the labels, to getting custom-made labeling machines to be able to label their beard oil bottles, to developing their water-based products, to developing their scent, everything, to their wood display cases, or their display bases, they make in-house, they design in-house. It's absolutely amazing. I highly encourage you guys go check out their YouTube channel, Dr. Nick's Amazing Man Stuff. They have live streams that I help with. They do giveaways. They have content. It's wonderful. This is a company that the more you know, the more that you want to support, the more that you want to try. Give them a shot, you guys. One of the greatest things with this company, 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like anything, they will refund you. They'll switch products. They'll, they'll do whatever it takes to make you happy and make sure that you know that they believe in what they're doing. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Doc Nix. Thank you to all these companies. Let's go ahead and announce yesterday's giveaway winner, which was the Bearded Mac $50 gift card. Good luck, everybody. Boom! Congratulations. Check your email that you signed up with. Same idea today. $50 gift card from Dr. Nick's Amazing Man Stuff. Couple of rules. Number one, be subscribed to this channel. Stay subscribed. Number two, click the link in the description or pinned comment. Put your name, your email address. You do need to do that each day. And then number three, leave a comment down below with something that is a positive that stands out to you from Dr. Nick's. Have you watched the live stream? Have you tried their beard oil and it's just as different? What about their beard butter? What about their website? Do you like their branding, their labeling? Do you like how their website is laid out? Give some positive feedback, whether it's from the outside looking in or something you have tried personally. Thank you so much, you guys. Good luck on this last giveaway. We do giveaways every Monday night in case you're interested, 9 p.m. Eastern. Join us. We'd love to have you. Command's Corner. But with that said, guys, my name is Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.